Hello and welcome to another Popper video. I'm Kali Kais and today we're playing Glitters again, but this time it's Boros. We're playing Mid-Range Glitters. So all the Glitters is the namesake card. It's giving you plus one, plus one for each artifact or enchantment you control. It's a very powerful card, uh, used in a lot of formats, but not too much in those formats now. Just really basically the mainstay in Popper. So we're combining all the Glitters with Experimental Synthesizer, which can... ETB, exile the top card of your library until end of turn you can play that card. And that works with Core Skyfisher and Glenhawk to turn these into huge value engines. Plus you can use uh, Glenhawk with Lembus or even with uh, Barred Batterfist sometimes. And Core Skyfisher can pick up Thraben Inspector or the new card Novice Inspector, which is also quite sweet. So we have eight really cheap creatures. We suit them up and we slam in. Plus we actually uh, have tons of removal with Lightning Bolts. So now I can fix this, but we have lots of uh, interaction in this deck. This is basically the Popper Jund, but it's like the regular value mid-range type deck, and we also have a one-turn kill. So that is our plan. In the sideboard, we have some Dawnbringer Clerics for enchantments, Dust to Dust for artifact decks, Gorilla Shaman for artifact decks, four Red Elemental Blast for those pesky blue decks, and four Relics for any graveyard deck like dredge or cycle storm or even something like um terror that would be good against terror and stuff so this deck has been performing pretty well it's kind of the new glitters hotness it did really well at popper Geddon, so you know that's been the tournament that kind of sets the new the new uh glitters deck of the format and uh, a lot of people are having success so we're just going to try it out and see how fun it is and how well it runs this video is brought to you by cardmarket.com, which is the largest seller of magic cards in Europe. Definitely check them out to build a battle box and get this deck. If you want to support my content, make sure you like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. It helps me grow and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this deck. Maybe mid range isn't for you, but it might be cool to see how this all works out. And check out Pondering Popper or my Patreon. Patreon is the place to go for cyborg guides for Familiars, Tron, and Poison Storm. And then uh, the Pondering Popper has a lot of detailed information from a bunch of different pilots just trying to get a lot of good stuff in the format. Just talking about the format, making content, having fun. Well, so that's it for me. We'll get into the matches. All right, round one, we're on the play. Playing Boros Glitters, we have double tap land. We have Tapland into Novice Inspector. I guess that's probably okay. We probably want to get the Rustvale Bridge down, just maximize some of our artifact lands. Tapland City over here. Let's see what our opponent is up to. They probably did not expect me to play a Boros land, that's for sure. Oh, they're copying me. All right, so we got to get in quick. Play this one, just to get the Tapland out of the way. We can play Novice Inspector. Next turn... Next turn, Gal Galvanic Blast is going to be online. Make a clue. So this upcoming turn, we can attack and then go Skyfisher back the Novice Inspector, replay it. By playing the Ancient Den as an untapped land. They play an Ancient Den and a Novice Inspector. So there's no reason to attack now. We can just hang out and not do anything. Looks like they're going to blast my Inspector. and they play a Chromatic Star. That kind of indicates to me that they're on the like Bushwhacker version of the deck. So let's play a Lembus. Now that we have card selection to pick up with our stuff, then we can Glenhawk the Lembus back. I don't want the land. Another Skyfisher. So I can play the Glenhawk here, and then I'm going to pick up the Lembus. We have to make sure we say yes or the Glenhawk will die, and then not attack. And I could attack, but not really necessary. I'm looking for uh, in all the glitters so I can slam in in the air. Our opponent plays Synthesizer, finding a mountain. So they have, you can play a, all sorts of different stuff. Another Chromatic Star. Okay. We might want to start holding open Galvanic Blast so we don't get um, killed. Okay, I'm going to play the Lembus. Scry again. Um, I guess I can take the land for next turn and I'll attack in the air. Then this next turn... On end step, I'll kill their creature so that they can't suit it up, and I'll get in a little bit, maybe, or we could just hold on to the 8 damage. Now that I see that it 
They're effectively a 10 here. I probably should hold on to this for lethal. Okay. The Kodotha Rebirth. Yep. So do they have a Bushwhacker? They do have a Bushwhacker. So we're going to kill this. And then uh, just go ahead and block and take six. Doesn't really matter what we block. But I'm happy to throw the Novice Inspector under the bus here. They cycle the Chromatic Star for red. And Galvanic Blast my Hawk. Fine. Okay, we have a Skyfisher and a Glitters. So let's play Skyfisher. Play the Glitters on the Skyfisher. We'll pick up the Limbus. Now they can't deal with this. They're not going to have any way of managing this power on the table. And I will pass the turn. Holding up my own Galvanic in case they have a way of uh, suiting up their creature. We crack a clue. Honestly, I feel like Boros is pretty favored versus Mono Red. Just from the life gain from Lembus and stuff. And a lot of uh, ground pounders. They're going to Bushwhacker again. All right, let's kill this. And then we're going to take four here. Block. I guess I'm looking for... Hmm. Not sure. We can gain some life. It's Lembus at, at a minimum. Draw a card. Find a Glenhawk. Okay. I'm going to attack you. Seven damage. And then I can Hawk plus Lemus again. I only have two cards in hand, so I don't think I'm going to die. I'll pick up the Lembus and play it. And Scry. Munitions. Seven. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I want that. So we have Lethal um, if we can get in next turn at using the Munitions to close the game. See what they have. They cycle a chromatic star. Scoop it up. Nice. So we want, hmm, Onringer Cleric, maybe the Gorilla Shaman. That's kind of tough to say. Maybe, do we want to just not go on the Glitters plan and just be on the way of like removing all their stuff plan? Like we can turn into the deck that just handles them. Dust to Dust, Gorilla Shaman. I think we'd probably win here if we just do our own thing and just ignore what they're doing. So make sh makeshift munitions might not be necessary too then. So I'm just turning into a Boros deck. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Keep. We'll drop our Thraben Novice Inspector guy. Make sure to block. They go Goblin Tomb Raider. All right, we're gonna have to go land Galvanic. Can't be getting attacked by a 2-2 here. Blast that. Find a dust to dust, which is mid for sure. But maybe we'll find another white source and then we can get rid of their lands. You know, okay. Play tap land. I'm gonna lead on the synthesizer here. I might find a land. If I don't find a land, it's fine. Sweet. Now we're really cooking. Now we're really cooking. Got the novice inspector. We're gonna have turn three dust to dust. <laughs> I guess it's not a good card. It it seems really terrible, and all of a sudden it got great. Plays a Chromatic Star. They might call Dotha. They play Glenhawk picking up the Chromatic Star. Or no, they pick up their land maybe. Pick up the land. Play the land. They're going to be sad now. Because they're about to have no lands. They're going to Bolt Face or the Novice Inspector. They'll kill the Novice Inspector here. Don't know if that matters. But maybe they're respecting the ability for me to potentially suit it up. And make it gigantic. They get in for two. So, hmm. Most of our cards are white in the deck. I'm going to Skyfisher up the Synthesizer. See if we can draw something. A lot of white cards in the deck. Find a Dust Dust. So that doesn't help, and it's fine. You can just play land and pass. We're going to get so much value off this Synthesizer here. We'll go Synth, and then see what happens. They scoop it up. Easy! We'll go to round two. All right, we're on the draw this time. We have turn two Thraben plus Bolt or the Barbed Batterfist. We can also turn one Bolt something. If they're representing Glitters, maybe we have to lead on the Bolt, but having a tap land there is going to be pretty bad. Goblin Tomb Raider. Okay, I guess we have to Bolt it. I don't know. A 1-2 right now. I think I'm just going to bridge and pass. We do need to develop our mana. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. I haven't been facing a lot of red lately, but maybe now we will. Okay, they play a synthesizer. 
but now they have a 2-2. Goblin Blast Runner, okay. Scary. Gets in for two. All right. Okay, we found a Glitters. I don't know if that's going to matter that much, but we'll see. Thraven Inspector, pass the turn. See what they do. We're going to hold open the Bolt. Next turn, if we don't find a land, we can go Glenhawk, pick up the land, play the land, play Barb Batterfist, and have a 2-2. Two -two. Or 3-1, it's going to be a 3-1, actually. We find a Galvanic. Plays a land. I feel like they're going to Bushwhack, or yep, kill this. So we're going to take 8, block here. We have a bunch of creatures left. They're only on 2 cards. Kind of need some lands. We're at 10. Uh, feel like I have to risky synthesizer here. Looking for a land. Found the land. So what do I do? Probably play the Batterfist. Because it can block and kill the Tomb Raider. And it's using the mana. They play an Implement of Combustion. Hang me for 1. We go to 9. We're going to go to 6 here. And they kill my uh, Barb Batterfist with a Galvanic. It's going to be 4 damage. We go to 5. Actually, we can Glenhawk bar back the Barb Batterfist. So, land. Play a Thraven. Get on the board. Play the Glenhawk. We're going to pick up the Batterfist. Okay. Yes. Pick up the Batterfist. Play the Batterfist. So, we need them to whiff a couple turns, unfortunately. We have three creatures. If they find a way to um, get in with the Blast Runner, then we're probably very close to dead. They swing in. So we will block, block, and block. Going to three. If they have a Bolt, we're dead. They have two creatures now. What is the last card? Lightning Bolt. No! They got us. So once again, it seems like Glitter is maybe not necessary. We do want the Clerics. And the munitions can come out. But maybe that's good to clean up the board. I'll just leave two glitters as random punk. But I want to have creatures on the table to block. And life gain stuff. We'd love to play first. Yeah, we only have one land, so I have to mulligan. I mean, we could go crazy and just try to like, tap land into synthesizer, but that seems really bad. Mulligan. Okay. This seems fine. Keep... So what do I put back? The Lembus is probably not great. I'm pretty far from using it. Play the Windscarred Crag. I can turn to the Synthesizer and then start getting crazy value off the Coarse Guy Fishers later. They play a Mountain and a Seal of Fire. Okay. Find a Glenhawk. Let's play the Synthesizer. See if we rip a land or anything. Coarse Guy Fisher. So let's play the Bridge and Pass. Not the right value. Smash on the Synth. Find a synth. That was a uh, not great for me. Um, let's play or sky fisher. Pick up the windscarred crag. Play the windscarred crag. Now we're at nineteen. My whole game plan revolved around the synthesizer, and they got rid of it. So now I'm definitely in pain. They synthesizer into a synthesizer. Play another synthesizer. Everyone's on synthesizers. Find a galvanic blast, and they can two for one themselves. Nope, they can just galvanic the the sky fisher. Okay, it gets blasted. Looking for a Lembus or something. Um, play this Windscarred Crag. Has to turn. So next turn I can Skyfisher plus all the Glitters. I couldn't just Glenhawk plus all the Glitters because of Seal of Fire on the table. They crack the Synthesizer, so we're hoping that they don't find a land. They find a land. So bottoming the Lembus was a terrible decision from my end, apparently. Let's play the core Skyfisher. Pick up and replay the Windscarred Crag. Kill your thing back. They go for Lightning Bolt on my Skyfisher, I'll just kill their creature. I need stuff to do, I need stuff off the top. They cold out the Rebirth. Finding a Synthesizer. Synthesizer again. Cold out the Rebirth. That's pretty bad. Another Cold Otha. They find a Mountain. So here they could just Bushwhacker and then I'd be basically dead here. So it's a learning experience. It's a learning uh, experience, but uh, I don't feel very solid here. We can't really afford to do anything. This is the moment where I would concede, but people didn't told me not to. Yeah. Okay. I don't see a way out of this, so I'm going to concede. Let's look at our top decks. No, no. 
No. Okay, let's go to round three. Okay, we're on the play in round three versus Taddy. We have what appears to be a pretty good Boros hand. I'll find out. They mulligan to six and five. So maybe they're Bogles, in which case Cleric is pretty good. But free board, we're not feeling confident against Bogles. Land Grant, so they're on L or Walls. Land Grant version of Walls plays a Jasper Sentinel. Land Grant again. With four cards in hand. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, let's see. What's Lembus looking for a removal spell? I mean, I'll take the land, I think. Play a Caretaker, and then they're going to play the Battlement. Let's bolt the Caretaker, play a land, play a Core Skyfisher, pick up the Lembus. So I'm looking for a Galvanic Blast for the Battlement here. They're probably going to cast the Winding Way. We play another Battlement, lead the Stampede. They've got all sorts of card draw over there. Hmm. Let's Lembus. I'll bottom the Thraben. Find more Thrabens, okay? Get Thraben. And then I'll play another Thraben. Or I'm just calling all of them Thraben, even though one's a Novice Inspector. Get in for two. I don't know if this is going to be a matchup we can win. Winding Way again. They have the Orochi Leaf Caller, so that means we're dead here. Once you Caretaker Leaf Caller, three mana. Close to dead. We play the Caretaker as expected. They're casting a Lead the Stampede. So they drew Lead the Stampede for turn after casting Lead the Stampede and Winding Way. Now they just have infinite everything. Uh, okay. Um, so now I guess we'll just let them play it out. They play another Caretaker. They're tapping for green, playing an Abyssin's Pilgrim. So Caretaker, Pilgrim, sure. They're going to discard the hand size. We draw a card, play the Synthesizer. Can Glenhawk back the Synthesizer? Although, I mean, that doesn't really do anything for us. Find a Skyfisher. All right, so it looks like I shouldn't concede, but I'm tapped out. They have Drift of Phantasms to transmute, and they have the Valakut Invoker in hand, so I'm going to scoop it up. And Barbed Batter Fist is not good, right? So we can maybe bring in some Red Blasts. I'll submit. Way too slow to beat uh, walls there. This is uh, definitely the experience of playing Boros. It's like tap land, tap land, and you're dead. But sometimes you get a, a nice fast start. Okay, we would like to play first. We have a bolt, so I'll keep. We need to keep them off of big mana walls. Maybe by, well, I was thinking maybe I should have killed that first creature. A land grant. They have a Jasper Sentinel, which they cast. We can Novice Inspector, land, kill your Sentinel, play another Jaspera. Let's try drawing a card, find a Synthesizer, play Ancient Den, play Inspector. We'll go ahead and attack. They might not block, right? No, they blocked. I knew they were going to block. Okay, so they don't have any mana. Play a Pilgrim. They have one mana right now. I need to kill this Pilgrim. Uh... Okay, so I think I should Synthesizer first. Looking for a removal spell. Kill the Pilgrim. Play a Lembus. Looking for more removal spells. Bottom that one. And swing. So we find a Red Blast, which can deal with their um, thing that makes them untap, but it's not the greatest. They have three mana, or they have two mana now. They Winding Way. Finding a Winding Way. Secret Door. Caretaker. Okay, one mana to pick up the Synthesizer. Let's see if we get a removal spell. Nope. Play the planes. Play the Synthesizer again. Let's go ahead and Skyfisher back the Synthesizer. We're getting the value. Find a Thraben Inspector. That was a lot. I mean, that's the kind of turn that sucks you into this uh, type of archetype. Just doing a lot of stuff. I don't remember that that Jasper Sentinel has reach. They play this a really Caretaker as expected. They're probably going to play the Secret Door, which I can Red Blast. But oh, they're reaping the graves in the graveyard. Okay. So we're going to start on Synthesizer. Find a Thraben. Pretty mid. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this thing so you can't tap it for value. Play a Bridge and attack with everything. 
Okay, so they have six cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. Okay. So much card draw. They land. Winding way. They choose creature. They mill forest or and freed. They get battlement and generous end. I can play the battlement here. And I'm going to draw a card. Let's draw a card again. Draw a card again. Find all that glitters. So I think we just play a bridge with the glitters on the Glenhawk and attack for lethal. Yeah. GG. Hopefully we can do that again in game three. They also scooped prematurely. <laughs> uh, all right. Do it again. The classic unkeepable hand with no lands. Mulligan. Okay. I like this. Uh, we have to bridge. And we're close to having some good stuff going on. So what's the weakest card in the deck in my hand? Novice Inspector, I guess. Because we're going to go bridge. Turn to the synth, maybe. We play Jaspera. Play bridge. If they have no turn to play here, I'm going to kill their creature. They cycle a generous end. Get in for one. All right. Hopefully I draw a land. Okay, what's in their hand? So let's see, they have an Axbane Guardian coming up. Two Axbane Guardians, actually. So let's play the Synthesizer looking for a red mana. Find an Ancient Den. Can pass the turn. This turn they're going to go land Axbane, most likely. Okay. Get in for one. We'll go kill your Guardian, because we have Metalcraft. Play Glenhawk. We're going to pick up the Synth. Find a Lightning Bolt. Not great. Land, pass the turn, play another Axe Bane, or lead the Stampede. We're about to glitters up this Glenhawk and try to ride it to, to victory. Plays another Axe Bane. Okay. First thing, kill that. He glitters this. And attack for six. So it's probably two more turns before we can kill them. Plays a Winding Way. No one drops. They have Shield Ball, a Guardian, or Axe Bane again, Shield Ball, Valakut. All right, let's play a synthesizer. See if we find a white card on a red blast. That's Lembus. Bottom the other Lembus. Play a bridge and attack for nine. Do you want to block? It might be smart. I still have not played the lead the stampede. Play an Axe Bane Guardian. Okay. So if I can kill the Jespera, they're dead. So I can go Skyfisher, pick up the synthesizer, play another synthesizer. That's two. Three bunch of looks. I don't know how many looks exactly. That's Core Sky Fisher. Pick up this. That's one look. Nope. Play a synthesizer. Uh so they're gonna have to block regardless here. I think I just play this I think I play the crag for more red mana. And I'll attack for nine. They're blocking. Is there any world where I want to just play the synthesizer here? I don't think so. So how are you going to defeat me? They could maybe play something that um, kills the Aldic Glitters now that they have a colored source. I think it's best for us not to crack the Lembus here because I don't want that back in the deck as a redraw. And I already bottomed another Lembus. I'm just looking to try and draw a removal spell to get rid of the Axe Bane Guardian. Not in their hand anymore. This is the cards we know about. They have three unknowns. Okay, they're tapping mana. Only three though, so are they going to cast Lead the Stampede? All right, after multiple minutes, they've decided to cast Lead the Stampede. They said it was a tough decision. They don't have any way of getting Reach right now. They didn't find anything off the Lead the Stampede that can kill the Aldic Glitters. Maybe we're looking for a Quirion Ranger? There's a Caretaker. Okay. So if they find a Quirion Ranger, they can... I don't know. There's a Quirion Ranger. I think they already played a land. Maybe not. Okay, they did not play land. They have four mana. They give things haste. Okay, that's kind of neat. So are we dead? Oh, Tuk Tuk has reach. Okay. There's a battlement. So now they have four mana. So once again, I need a removal spell. Another Axbane Guardian. Five mana. They can Alchemist and not go infinite this turn. They have six mana. One, two, three, four, five. Man, 
They got me. The alchemist untaps the axe bane for three, and then they can make infinite mana, play the creature, and win the game. All right. Uh, I'm glad that they made the right decision, and I'm unhappy to losing, but we'll go to round three. Four. Ah, going to round four. Okay, we lost versus pretty much an unwinnable matchup. We're in round four. We're on the play. Where's my lands? We're going to mulligan. Uh, okay, keep. Put back. I'm going to put back batter fist it just seems kind of medium if i have the experimental synthesizer to pick up and down that's probably better i don't know what this person is on draws dowski uh pass the turn forest so we're going to be playing against ponza right now man brutal let's kill your arbor elf at least then synthesizer looking for a white source okay we can just synth for a check see what's on top Okay, crag, and pass, and we can double inspector. Hopefully that was a very crucial Arbor Elf for them. They cycle a generous end, so they're gonna play land and pass. They may not have that third land. Plays a forest, wild growth, okay. So they were looking to probably cast Acid Moss on turn two. Let's play a crag, play a inspector. Power play for sure. <laughs> you need to be faster. Okay, Arbor Elf comes down. Another Arbor Elf. Interesting. Find a synth, let's play it. What do we get? Skyfisher. And Skyfisher back a synthesizer. Okay. Pick up the synth. Let's see what we find. Find a Great Furnace, which I don't need. So I can go Ancient Den into Inspector and attack for one. Well, if they play the initiative this turn, we can take it back with the core Skyfisher. If they kill my land, we have a lot of lands. It's not that big of a deal. And they play like boarding party. That'll be sad. They have four cards in hand. They have six, seven mana. They let on that triple Arbor Elf into a generous end. They're tapping, untapping. They have four mana now. Five. Looks like they are going to cast the Avenging Hunter. Hmm. Okay, that's a choice. What happens if I Galvanic Blast it? Find a snow-covered mountain, so they have a removal for the Skyfisher then? Okay, so let's lead on Glinhawk, pick up the sky, uh, Synthesizer. Looking for uh, a makeshift munitions. Okay, let's play another Synthesizer. Novice Inspector. We can play the munitions and shoot the Arbor Elf. I'm concerned that they're going to have a scred here. We have three creatures. Hang your Arbor Elf. Sacrificing a clue here. And we will attack. A block. All right. We have the initiative now. We'll grab our planes. We're out of basics almost. We can maybe take out the Avenging Hunter this next turn, but they're going to forge something, so maybe not. They sprawl. That means they have eight mana right now, because they can have three times two with the Arbor Elf, untap. Okay, there's three, six, plays a boarding party and they cascade into another Arbor Elf. Okay, so let's see what they do after they hit us. I'm not gonna block the boarding party with my Glenhawk, it's pretty valuable. Get in. So they're gonna Undercity, going into Forge. What are you gonna Forge up? Forge on the Arbor Elf. Okay, so I'm probably gonna Forge my Thraven. Let's lead on a synthesizer. I'm looking for galvanics, other removal spells. Let's core skyfisher. We're gonna pick up the synthesizer. There's a galvanic. You can kill this. Play a land. Attack with two birds. No. You can kill that with this makeshift munition. So we only need to make two blocks. I'll attack with two birds. Okay. We take the initiative and forge on the Thraben. Or we could forge the Skyfisher. Forging on the Skyfisher means I can block the Arbor Elf with the Skyfisher. Block here, and then I have to double ping this and ping that. If I forge here, I can block, like throw the Skyfisher in front of this and shoot it once and shoot this once. All right, let's kill your other Arbor Elf so you don't have tons of mana. The Acid Moss, my Ancient Den. Okay. Should have gone after the Windscarred Crag because that's open mana that I have right now. I think uh, we're going to probably wipe their board here. 
We attack with everything. Block and block. Okay. I can throw my Glenhawk at this. They just scoop it up. Nice. Nice. Don't really have anything good going on here. Obviously, we want the Glitters to attack. Maybe Dawnbringer Cleric is okay as another creature. Is it better than Barb Batterfest? Probably not. Let's go to Card Viewer here. See a little bit better. Okay, so we opened up a hand that can turn one, shoot an Arbor Elf, or play a tap land and just keep making land drops. I'm going to keep this. I keep seven to go land wild growth. So I'll play my tap land because it doesn't really matter. They can blow up my tap land if they want. They play land or visionary. All right, in that case, I want to synth. See if I find a land. I find another synth. I think I'm just going to kill the visionary. I wanted to take them off of five mana or four mana. They didn't make another land drop. Plays an Arbor Elf and another Arbor Elf. So they're making mana over there. Too bad we don't have an end of festivities or a, some sort of sweeper. We have a Highland Forest, three cards in hand. Find a Glenhawk. I'm gonna Glenhawk the Synthesizer. Pick it up. We find a Core Skyfisher. Play the Synth again. This is odd, but I'm just gonna pick up the Glenhawk again. Or the Synth again. What did we exile? Our Batterfest. All right. Didn't get a lot of value there. They play a land. So once again, the initiative is kind of not great for them to play. They're going to the attack phase and they don't attack. Let's start with Synth. This thing is great for me. An Ancient End, play, and hawk the Synth back. Man, if they have a, a Sweeper, that'd be bad, but it would kill their creatures too. Fine. What do we get? A Bolt. Kill that. Are they going to have a Weather the Storm here? That'd be surprising. Pick up uh, a land, play a Novice Inspector. Can you imagine beating Ponza as Boros? They scred my Glenhawk with one card left in hand. Another removal spell? Okay, Weather the Storm. Yeah, that's not going to be a winning strategy. I'm not like a hyper aggro deck. I'm a mid-range deck. You gain some life. Sure. Plays an Arbor Elf. Not great. Let's uh, attack with everything. Play an Experimental Synthesizer. Finding a Thraven. I think I just go Ancient Den. Draw a card. More cards in hand. Rustville Bridge is decent as far as tap lands go because it pumps up the glitters as well as indestructible, as is indestructible. Okay, what do you got? He glamours it again. We whiff on a glitters. Sad. Okay. I'll attack with everything. Poor Skyfisher. Pick up Thraben. Play the Thraben. And play a mountain. Draw a card. So we're already fighting through the weather storm. They just have a bunch of interaction. Not that great. Okay. Let's swing out. Yeah. This is eight damage. We go to 20. Okay. Let's see what we draw here off this clue. Play a Thraven Inspector. Let's go ahead and Skyfisher the Thraven back. Or one of the other Thravens, so we have more blockers. Thraven again. So the value train is chugging along. Feels good. They're at 20. Let's draw a card. Play a Thraven. Or an Inspector. Play another Inspector. Play a Bridge. I'm going so wide. Slowly but surely. Turn 8. Okay, you're at 9. We win. Okay. 2 and 2. Let's do the finals. Okay, we're in round five on the draw, but we have an acceptable-ish hand. Lots of tap lands and stuff. Our opponent plays an island. All right, so they're going to start out slow as well. They play the bridge. They go brainstorm. If they don't have open mana, I'll probably just put the synthesizer on the table and see if I hit a land. Demir Aqueduct, that kind of indicates fairies. Let's synthesizer. No land. Play Crag. They play an Augur of Bolas. Florian Revealed. Okay, are they really just like control? Let's try Lindhawk, pick up the synthesizer. Getting on the table so they can't just monarch me. Land. Okay, they could cast down my thing, so let's just Lembus here. 
think I will take the batter fist. I'm going to start trying to go wide. They cycle the Lorien Revealed. They get a contaminated aquifer, which can be a snuff out material. They're that tap land contaminated aquifer. Stormbound Geist. Okay. Only block creatures with flying. Let's play a synth and see what we get. Thraben. Thraben's all day. Another Thraben over here. I wonder why they're playing Stormbound Geist. That makes me think it's not fairies. Crag. Pass the turn. Maybe they're just really prepared for Boros. No attacks. Let's try drawing a card. Find a batter fist. Play a batter fist, I guess. They don't counter. So we'll attack and get in for one. We probably have to watch out for Arms of Adar or other sweepers. Yeah, I go in decay and kill my Thrabins. No! Poor Thrabins. Oh man. This is that funky deck. Glitter Goons, okay. When it dies, create a tap 2 2 black rogue creature token. All right, sure. They probably have snuff outs. Okay, they, their thing gives them a tapped creature. Uh, let's go Glinhawk. Pick up the synthesizer. Find a Galvanic. I'm going to glitters on this Glinhawk. They don't have the snuff out right now. We'll swing in. They're going to block the, the creature. Okay. Does not, chooses not to block with the Stormbound Geist. They have a snuff out. Okay, kind of expected that. So let's go ahead and just deal them four, I guess. Play a Thraben. I suppose I have to block this. Hmm. Block, block. They're definitely getting value. The Undying Evil, their creature. They get to get more cards. Pretty solid. They're calling this uh, Demir Scam. It's Popper. Popper Demir Scam. Uh, let's Skyfisher pick up. Oh no, I wanted to pick up the Synthesizer. That's a whoops. Synth. I just thought it was still on the table. Mountain. Um, let's see, Batter Fist here. Your turn. How many Girder Goons are you going to draw, my friend? Every single one? <laughs> Okay, block, getting a lot of value. Let's get rid of that one. They have Undying Evil and Not Dead after all, so they're super duper scamming. Man, Skyfisher back to Synth. Pick that up. Find a Galvanic. Base, base is the place. Let's Synthesizer, finding a Furnace. Play the Furnace. Let's Lembus. Bottom that one. All right, I'm gonna start trying to, maybe I should just block their two twos. Brutal. So I can Lembus crack Lembus. They brainstorm. I guess maybe the uh, relics and stuff are good here and the pyroblasts. Okay, they island. Got a Lorien revealed into an island. I'm gonna take five. Scary. Do a lightning bolt. Let's crack this Lembus. Play a Lembus. Scry. I'll bottom the land. Crack the Lembus again. We gain six life, which is good. Play a bridge. And novice inspector. I guess we pass. They cast down on the core skyfisher. Four cards in hand. Kind of an impressive deck. Play an auger of bolus. I mean, the girder goons making a bunch of rogues is the thing that's the scariest here. If it were just a five-five. But they're also drawing tons of cards. Uh, throw that in the way. We do have a bolt, at least. We're going to draw a card. Play a Thraben. Draw another card. Find a makeshift munitions. I wonder if that will resolve. That will win the game if it resolves. They have a counter spell. Suck. Does this come back tapped? No. We're going to play a Moldrifter. Another Goons. All right. Draw a card. Another Inspector. I'm just trying to draw a burn so I can lethal burn spell them. Oh, they go to nine. They need two burn spells. The block. This is a grind. It's turn 11. You find a Galvanic. Draw a card. Novice Inspector. Draw a card again. We draw the card. We find a bridge. So I just go Galvanic. Lightning Bolt. Play the bridge. Put the Batterfist here. Pass the turn. 
Oh, no, that didn't do anything. I just made a 2-1. At least it'll trade with a rogue token. Okay, four mana. Are they going to blitz another goon? So far, they've only used one. Uh, okay, so how much damage is this? Are they going to swing out? They're swinging out. Lock. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, fifteen. Okay. I don't think anyone ha has been playing this Gerda Goons card other than this uh, cool deck. So they uh, they get to Wretched Griff for one mana on their goons, and then they get a bunch more cards. That thing is gone. I need double room, double burn spell here. Draw a card. Okay, they got us. So clearly the snuff outs are going to stop us from being able to glitters. I didn't really like the Barb Batterfist. I want all the red blasts. And I guess all the relics. So I guess cutting munitions is a good way to close the game. I want that. Maybe we can trim one of the Limbus and one munitions. That was intense. All right, we're on the play. Okay, we have stuff to do. Bridges and inspectors. We got some burn spells. We're gonna look to try to go face. They mulligan to six. Play land, pass the turn. They play an island, play a bridge, play novice inspector, say go. Okay, two mana, they play an auger of bolus. I suppose I can just kill that and get in. All right, land, hold that, play a limbus. I'll keep that on top, tack in. All right, they're not gonna play a creature. We're gonna Glenhawk, pick up the Lembus, play the Lembus, looking for more lands. They have an Unnull, I'll get in. I know they have the blue Elemental Blast in their hand. Right now, Galvanic Blast is online. Play a Relic and a Thraven. And uh, go and point that Relic at you. But mostly it's here as an insurance against their uh, Blitz creature, get in. They go to 15. They play the Blitz creature, or Arms of Hadar, okay. Let's play a Synth. We know they have the Blue Blast. Okay, Novice Inspector. And then your turn again. They cycle a Lorien. Finding an Island. They have four mana available. Play a Land. Let's play the Lembus. Some card quality here. I'm gonna counterspell the Limbus. Okay. I'm gonna attack you. I think I might have forgotten to relic them. Let's relic you. We made our land drop, and that's the thing that matters the most at the moment. Play a land. Plays a girder goons. Stinky. Let's play play this synthesizer. Might um go after that with the blue blast. Blue blast that. Alright, um, I'll draw a card. Trying to hold on to my burn. Can't cast an office inspector here. I need to hold up the relic. I can't afford to let them get that much value. They're going to attack for four. We go to 17. I'll draw a card. Find a bridge. So I can play another inspector. Probably want to play the one that's a different name so we don't get um, Echoing to Truth, Echoing Decayed. Relic you one. We'll get in. So they have Hydroblast in hand. No, they used it, right? Yeah. Okay. They're going to continue attacking. I think I'm not going to block this turn because I want to get damage in as well. They have three cards in hand. We're nearing the point where we can try to go after their face. They have the Red Blast. Okay, Novice Inspector. Relic you. Right now we have 11 damage. Send. I have the Echoing Decay. Not great. Uh, hmm. They play a Brainstorm. I guess I was correct about the Echoing Decay is basically what it comes down to. They have a Mole Drifter. I will attempt to blue bla or blast it. Okay, so the blast is resolves. I have two cards in hand. What do I want to do here? Draw a card. We can Glenhawk back the Synth. Pick up the Synth here. What do we find? An Ancient Den. Replay the Synthesizer. No, nothing from them. Let's Relic you. Glenhawk again. I'll pick up the synth again. Okay, I found a lightning bolt, so that's gonna go face. Attack. Now, hopefully we can just kill them with burn. We're the mid-range deck. Can we do it? 
They're casting a preordain, so let's just see what they do with the preordain. They get in for four, no blocks. We're gonna go to five. They could have arms of Hadar. We have lots of burn spells. Attack. I guess I'll leave back the Thraven. Cast down from the opponent. Okay. We're gonna go to seven. Lightning bolt. Try lightning bolt again. Try a galvanic. Try another galvanic. We got there. Sweet. So we executed according to plan. Have to just try to do it again. So is this hand good enough? They're keeping seven. We have a red blast and a limbus. We can skyfish with the limbus. Guess I'm gonna keep this. I'm afraid to mulligan too much. What just happened? See the synod. Did not expect. Play a windscarred crag. Your turn. Brainstorm from the opponent. Plays an obscura. So should I get the synthesizer down or should I play? Well, got more synths than I know what to do with now. Let's play that synth. Great furnace. Pass the turn. They have two blue mana. So if they play like an auger of bolus, I want to just counter it. Counter. They're considering whether or not they should blue blast it. I'm going to land, pick up the synthesizer. I think that holding open the one mana will allow me to cast most of my deck. So I think it'll be okay to pick up the synthesizer here. I want to be on the table. Pick up the synth. What do we get? A Thraven. Let's go. Nailed it. They okay, Lorien revealed. They're likely to get their... Uh, okay, Contaminated Aquifer means that they're looking for a snuff out. I want a Relic. Um, attempt to Synthesizer. Blue Blast. Steel Sabotage. Let's go land into Lembus. Hunter Spell. Again, okay. Let's play another Inspector. And attack you for three. Okay, Brainstorm. I think it's important that they have no creatures on the table so we can continue attacking in. Okay, Augur of Bolas. And Alorian Revealed. Okay, let's go for a Synthesizer. Trying to find removal spells, I guess. Find a Galvanic. Should that go face or on the Augur of Bolas? Probably on the auger. That lets us get in some damage. Crack the clue. Another Skyfisher. And we will attack for four. Put you to 14. They have four cards in hand. Play a Stormbound Geist. Let's play a Lembus. See what we find. I'm going to bottom this land here for sure. Find another land. Let's draw a card. Find the Relic. I will play the Relic and see if that resolves. And if it does, I'll leave open the mana. Okay. We can now attack with everything. And then on this trigger, we can crack the Relic. They do block, so I'm not sure they know how this works. But Stormbound Geist is going to go to the graveyard. All right. Crack the Relic. No Geist for you. They draw two cards off the Reckoner's Bargain, though. Go to 15. They're preordaining. So that was very important for us to be able to get the Geist off the table. Continue attacking with the Skyfisher. They have four cards in hand. They're playing a Mold Drifter. So we're going to Skyfisher the Synth and try to get that Drifty off the table. Find a Lightning Bolt. So we can get the Drifter off the table now. Pick up the Synth. And the Thraven. Play Synthesizer again. Find a Relic. So Relic. And a Thraven Inspector. We gotta make sure that they cannot block us. Bam! Play the planes. Uh, we'll do it and save targets. Relic you. I feel like pretty ahead right now. Send. They go to 11. Reckoner's Bargain is definitely sweet with their 5 drop and stuff. They can blitz it and then bargain it and then gain tons of life. Really neat deck. Okay, what do you got going on? Place an Augur of Bolas. So that's gonna brick one of our 1-2s. One, uh, one and I don't get to uh, stop it. They reveal a counter spell. I can counter the synthesizer if I do pick it up. All right, my turn. Play a Thraven Inspector. Maybe I shouldn't be committing so much to the board given that they had the uh, board wipe in the other turns. Find a red blast. Draw another card. Bridge, swing out. All right. They take six, it looks like. Cast down on. Skyfisher, sad, they're gonna take four. And 
That's an interesting card. Plus two, minus two until end of turn. It's like a disfigure, but it also has bonuses. Huh. Okay. So they're going to take three, actually, going to eight. I'll relic you. I want to be able to Skyfisher back the synth. I can protect it from a counter spell with the Red Blast. They're going to play a Girdergoons. It's a 4-4 four, four beater. So we're getting in much slower now. But we're pretty much free to just do the synth thing. Skyfisher. We're going to pick up the synthesizer. And what do we find? Another Skyfisher. So we synthesizer. They have a blast. We also have a blast. So synthesizer is going to resolve. And another relic. Okay, we play a relic. Play core Skyfisher. And I think we still pick up, or we'll pick up the Limbus, I guess. Play this crag. Hold open the, oh no, we want to crack one of our relics. And we'll just see what happens. Attack. Well, they're dead next turn. In the air. They have a counterspell in hand and two unknowns. On their end step, we can crack the relic. Just don't want them to get weird value right now. There's a mole drifter. Okay. So end step, crack our relic. All right. We draw a mountain. What's well, Lembus? I'm looking for a removal spell. Lightning bolt. Hello. Okay. It could have a blue blast, I guess. So maybe I want to see if there's another way I can like force them to do something. Okay. I'll relic your mole drifter away. Play the Thraven Inspector. If I find another um, burn spell, they're dead. Crack the clue. Okay. Galvanic. Or we just go bolt and uh, we have a secondary one. Boom. GG's. So we finished 3 2. That's pretty solid. And uh, overall, the deck is fun. It's kind of clunky, but it's kind of sweet too at the same time. Our computer's all chuggy. All right. We got there. Got that 3 2. Hopefully, you enjoyed seeing the Boros, but we only got to glitter someone like one time. It was definitely not a glitters deck. It's just a Boros deck that can sometimes glitter. Kind of interesting. Hopefully, uh, fun to watch, and we'll see you in the next video.